meant to go a long time ago in the in the world of the net of the game company known as Nintendo. There is a lot of so many recognizable video game franchises they made throughout over the years so far and much to see. From from a green tunic warrior who can defeat a powerful who can take on a warlock to a to a pink marshmallow creature that can that has that powers to copy abilities and become a weapon of mass destruction. But there's one hero we all remembered across a long way from 1985 to the present day. Mario. First time, from the first time ever, he's going saving a, a lady from a giant monkey to saving a princess from a, multiple times from a terrifying, from a from a fire breathing turtle. Mario goes from a from a, from a, from a pudgy from a construction worker to a plumber. Now all hero. This is where we get to learn the story of Super Mario. First time ever to meeting Mario is in 1985 when a, a company known as Nintendo made one of the most one of, uh, one of the most interesting starting off as a franchise involving a, a plumber. Before he was a plumber, he was a he was a construction worker who saved a young who saved a lady named Pauline from a giant monkey named, named Donkey Kong. After done some construction works. Mario and his and his brother Luigi done some plummet, plumbing duties, and they got their own game called Mario Brothers. It was a it was a great experience where classics really shined. However, the real stars goes to is 1985, better known as Super Mario Brothers. It is a classic. <laughs> it is a classic two uh, D platformer where you where you just basically just reaches. Must reach the, to the flagpole and uh, and avoid and avoid getting getting hit by by enemy by enemy. There's some common enemies like Goombas and Koopa Troopers, and there's some, there's also some, some annoying fights like the Hammer Brothers and and the key to drops drops some spinies. The game the game allows you the, the game gives you the ability to of power ups from super mushrooms to fire flowers to stars. These are very helpful items to help you go get and blast your way through, through levels. We're we'll also introducing you to coins that'll help you get you, get get you a one up or two. However, each level has some, some good challenge, good fun times from a, from a good plain mainland all the way to the underground sections, all the way to, to a castle where the real threat is where the real threat, the main villain of the game, Bowser, was. Introduced. However, the the play against Bowser gets really fun and challenging at the same time. Until you get to, until you finally get a chance to go face against him, and you have to avoid his fireballs. Until after you manage to beat him, you can you might be able to think you get a reward. However, you get you get told there's a print think that there's. There's a princess is in the castle stuff, yada yada yada. Let's go save her. let's go save her. This game is a real fun it's a real fun but really challenging game to experience. Then however, they also made they also made a sequel called Super Mario Brothers 2, The Lost Levels. Or Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. It's it is considered to be really difficult for for, for Western players. And that and that until it managed and it's not here on, on, on the NES until it made a return in the, in the SNES, better known as Super Mario Brothers, into Super Mario All Stars, a, a collection of games we we play we play with the whole family to enjoy. Then, however, the Western players get to play Super Mario Brothers Two, a uh, a game that allows you to play a game that allows you to. Uh, Play as Mario, Luigi, Peach, or Toad. 
as you must explore explore different locations, battle these birds, and also pick up use use some powerful turnips to kill to kill some sink to kill some bad guys. It's pretty much a uh, pretty much a five a day five type of thing. Yada yada yada. Let's do this anyway. However, then there's the then there's 1989 with with Super Mario Brothers 3. It's a very fun, it's a very fun and creative, it's a very fun and experienced game where you play, play through the entire location while also avoiding, well, there are some new power-ups and, and the introduction to Bowser's, Bowser's kids. The game is really fun experience with a whole, it's a real fun moment and even been remastered several times, it's been ported several times. These games are really are done in sort of the classic experiences. And since when I when I play these games, they're really tough games. That's all. I actually managed to I used to have Super Mario Bros. 3 for the, for the virtual console for the Wii. I have I have it when when I have my uh, my second Wii. My first Wii has completely covered in dust. However, there's one more that to be one of the best experiences of the time. Anyway, that's all the way into the SNES, and that game is called Super Mario Brother Super Mario World, where you play, where you play as Mario, going, where you exploring the the, uh, the Dino location known as Yoshi's Island, or Dinosaur Island. Uh, depends on you live in. It depends if you want, if you love the idea. The game also allows you to play. The game has your companion known as Yoshi. A green dinosaur that allows you, help you, that you, can, you can actually eat your bad, eat the foes, even get your tongue. What we'll also gets to beat off some pretty tough enemies and some levels to explore. It's a very interesting, fun experience for the SNES. However, the uh, the NES, however, Game Boy gets a real good, good experience as well with, with a couple with a couple of games. Super Mario Land, where you where you explore the third kingdom known as Sarasa Land. Super Mario Land to six golden co six golden coins, where you must you can actually choose which levels to explore, and also you can also take on against a fat man named Wario. He's extremely a greedy fat man who just loves, who just wants some money, who just wants to stop you at all. However. His, after his second game entirely, after the second adventure, there's Super Mario Land 3, but instead of playing as Mario, you can actually play as Wario, collecting coal, collecting coins, and stopping against evil pirates. It's a real fun experience, I remembered how fun the Mario games are. But, until, and however, there are some, there's also some incredible NES classics that, NES also has some, has some games like Dr. Mario, which, which is a Tetris style game where, where you can stack some capsules to beat, to beat, vi to beat viruses. And in the SNES, known as Super Mario Kart, a game which started off the franchise we all remembered, Love and Brave. Mario has been a cruel. And however, after the success of the Mario games, they even made TV show. They even made a TV shows based off Mario's adventures. With the uh, free series Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers Super Show, the Adventures of Super Mario Brothers Three and Super Mario World. Both of those, both Super the Adventures of Super Mario Brothers Three and Super Mario World, also did to also have part of the show with the with, the, with, the, with Captain N, the video game master. And however. All three companies, all three shows were made by the company known as Dick. And the voice actor who played Mario is the late Captain Ui Bino, who, who inspired a lot of people to do the Mario at the time. The game, the game actually, the series is real well praised. However, in 1993, when Mario gets his own movie, it was actually a live action movie which received a, a huge, um, which received universally panned by fans. So we get, we all talk about what happened in the source of the, uh, the Mario game in the store, and I'll explain what's going to be happening soon in the future. However, they're plumbers. 
We had like this great history into the first part of Mario into the second. Now into the next part, which is proven to be a huge deal for Mario. It's me, Mario! Ah yes, the good old, the good old Nintendo 64. What are some fantastic games like, like Pokemon Stadium, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and of course Star Fox 64, or in Europe, uh, Lionel's Wars. But there is, there is some, a lot of Mario games com, came out on that console. But the first game also came into as a launch title, Super Mario 64, the first to came into your mind. It's the first. It's also the first time ever you ever experienced a Mario game in 3D. You explore. The, you can explore the mushroom. You can explore the Peach's castle. Not just not be in the world of SMG4. This. There. You can explore. You can explore a different world. You can collect a hundred. You can collect 120 stars. Gather 100 coins to get to get to get some, some star, star, several stars, and even there are some a few power ups to try out as well. What's even more impressive though, the game also you can also take on against Bowser in some excellent display. The game the game also Mario games also on the S4 are great experience too. There is the 1997 Mario Kart 64, which is Plenty of fun for the whole family. There's there's Mario Party, the ultimate friendship breaking game, and there's some, there's also some sports games with Mario Golf and Mario Tennis, which also gives them the introduction of Waluigi. But what really shines through though is also the start of the game series. We all remember there's also Paper Mario. But there's Super Smash Brothers, a fantastic fighting game where Mario takes takes part in a fighting game with friends. Bow and Nintendo mascots. Even though Donkey Kong Donkey Kong and Luigi is in there too. Because reasons. And that's how fun these games are. There's also there's also the Game Boy Advance games, but Mario games on the Game Boy Advance, with the Super Mario Advance games. Mario & Luigi RPG games and Mario & Luigi game Star Saga and Mario Kart and sports games as usual. But GameCube also arrives there with some sports, some sports games, kart racing action and of course Super Mario Sunshine. Even the Thousand Year Door was, was ambitious too. The DS also came in handy with some, some good time battling and some plumbers playing playing some Mario. Also a long time on the GameCube as well. You play you, Luigi get his own game called Luigi's Mansion, where you go take on against the uh, well ghosts. Mario games really improved some excellent performances on the GameCube. Even Melee, which is arguably the most the best GameCube game ever made. While the, while the game has while the GameCube has some great time to remember as well, the there's the DS, which introduces us some tangible great game. Including the game that really got us got me some flashbacks of the fight against Bowser. Super Mario 64 DS. Where it's just pretty much Super Mario 64 where you play as Yoshi, Luigi and Wario in there too. There's also some sports, there's also, some, there's also basketball and kart racing action and play anything else. The Wii was this was really got fan height. But we, although although Mario Party and and Super Paper Mario were mixed, what fans really got happy about is the introduction of, well, new Super Mario Brothers and of course Super Mario Galaxy, including its awesome sequel to new Super Mario, Ga Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's a real good experience and there's for everyone to enjoy, but there's also another great song to hang out as well, the Wii U, but there are a few 
games only one fun for the Wii U which was pretty memorable too. There are other Mario Tennis Ultra Smash sites, sadly. Also the introduction of people, there's also Super, Pe Super Mario 3D World, where you play, where you, the, the cat suit was introduced. You can also play, there's also Mario Kart 8. Really fun. The, the 3DS, but before that, there was the 3DS. With, with Mario Kart 7, the Super Mario 3D Land, and of course Mario Kart 7. And of course, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, or Luigi's Mansion 2. After the 3DS in, in Wii U launches, there's also the, the iconic memorable free there's also the iconic Nintendo Switch. Recent the, the, old, the recent brother of the, of the group. The game also the game has the Switch has some fun games, Mario games to enjoy. That includes Super Mario 3, that includes Super Mario Odyssey, where you can play, go explore different, explore different cat kingdoms, playing as, playing as Cappy, <laughs> hanging out with Cappy and stuff. But Mario Kart 8 Deluxe really introduces us to a whole new horizon, and many things else. Seriously though, Mario games really improves in my times. But what really shines through though is the is one game fans been talking I'll explain what happens with my childhood Mario game for the first time. In my times when I first time experiencing playing Mario games, the only there are a lot of Mario games I've been playing out a lot with my family, mainly Mario Kart and Mario Party, but there is one Mario game I remembered taking on into my hell, into my hell book, and that is Super Mario 64. The reason I have been playing this, uh, remember this game because it's really the challenging experience for my time. Even to my, my, even. I still have it, have the DS version on my, on my good old, on my good old 3DS. It's pretty fun, but it's a pretty fun game, but when I reach the final boss against, my, the final fight against Bowser is like extremely hard. It's precise, it's pretty much precise aiming. So I have, I also have Super Mario 3D All-Stars, make it, Mario Maker 2 is one of my favorite game Mario games out there with Mario Kart D Mario Kart 60 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But however I really do wish I can go revisit some good old Mario games to, to try out. It's my it's my good times to play Mario games. I also like to revisit some watching Super Mario. Mario World on, on the time since I'm watching I'm watching shows now on on uh, pop on pop on YouTube. But I I am really excited to get ready for, for April because the Super Mario the Super Mario Brothers movie starring Chris Pratt, Arnie Taylor Johnson, Charlie Day, Keegan Michael Key, and Jack Black. However, no I'm and it's also made by, by Universal Pictures and of course Illumination Entertainment, the, the guys of the Despicable Me. I was really hope you guys enjoy you guys enjoy this amazing story about my time into, into, into the time of Mario. And hope you guys enjoy some more adventures await. And once more, it's time to go visiting some good old days. Thank you so much for watching. I see. Thank you for watching Mario documentary.